you come here to Miami, these girls ain't ain't no game. Like, ain't no game. Top tier. They have to say hair done, nails done, everything. Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha. You see me here. I'm in a robe. We're going to get cracking. We're just going to do a simple talk. I have nothing planned. Well, I do have something planned. I want to talk about becoming that girl, becoming more feminine, the luxury lifestyle. I want to talk about all of that stuff. And we're just going to chat. It's going to be super chatty. I'm not going to, I have, I literally have nothing outlined or anything like that. I usually do because, of course, it's the best way to keep the video organized. We're not going to do that today. We're just going to chat. We're going to talk about my personal journey, um, moving to Miami, how that kind of contributed to that. But yeah, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and let's go so so the femininity journey is really interesting because <clears throat> I personally I am not I'm probably a very masculine girl I'm very masculine I'm aggressive I'm bold I'm blunt like I'm literally the opposite of what you consider a feminine girl and a, a woman whatever the case may be super not feminine and I just kind of want to be more accepting and I want to kind of rest I feel like being masculine is so hard it's so it's so much work i just want to rest i literally just want to be free like i don't want to be considered strong i don't want to be considered tough i don't want that those labels on me at all i want to rest and i think that's what people forget when they're you know going into the feminine journey it's all about oh getting things from men or Oh, um, you know what I mean? Being this way, being this, that way. The biggest thing about the feminine journey for me, I just want to rest. I literally don't, I don't want to play the mind games. I don't want to manipulate. I don't want to lead with masculine energy. I just want to rest. And that's what the feminine journey for me is. Um, I feel like I always, oh, you're so strong. You're so hardworking. Can someone else be strong for me? And that's another reason why I am not subtle in relationships. Dating in Miami is super difficult anyways because everyone is temporary and no one is really looking for a relationship. And, and I'm not either. That's why I said, that's why it's resting. I'm not actively looking for someone. I'm not act. I don't want to actively do anything. I literally just want to rest and have things that are meant for me come to me um so that's literally what my feminine journey is about do i date um i i did date in the beginning of the year i went on a few dates because i was on hinge and you know i was like i need to find guys with money like of course like i if i date and I, if i have a boyfriend he has to have money like i'm not dating someone that cannot it's not established like you need to be doing better than me and you don't need to be rich but you need to be well established successful and and even if you're like if we can get well together but i need you to be at a, a good starting point i'm not building up no man like that requires energy and effort and like i said i just want to rest i'm so picky because i don't want a relationship so for me to go in a relationship you need to bring everything you need to be everything that i need and i don't even know how else to put it i need you to be compassionate kind thoughtful Karen I need you to go out of your way for me because when man wants you when a man wants you he's put in maximum effort if he's put in subpar effort you're not what he truly wants you know what I mean if I'm talking to you for a while you've never done flowers you never went out of your way never just randomly ordered me food randomly ordered me flowers randomly sent me a, a, a card if you don't text me every day it's a wrap you're not giving max effort and I'm not what you want and, and and another thing I've recently noticed, I don't want to go on a date and sit down and eat with someone if I'm not interested in them. So now I'm sitting down and eating and I'm awkward. I'm wasting an hour, an hour and a half of my life for what? So I need to I need to be fully interested in you. Not only do you have to bring that you're financially stable and financially actually good, financially good, you have to bring that you're compassionate and thoughtful. You have to give max effort, max effort. Another thing is I have the luxury part. So luxury is of course relative, but my idea of luxury is like, I call my friends high maintenance because they get their nails done, they get their hair done, they do, they, you know, they do their makeup, they're always on 10. And I'm just, like I said, masculine energy is literally all of, I don't get my nails done. I don't get my hair, and that's okay because I personally don't like to. I'm kind of shy, so when I go to the nail salon, they're like, "Oh, get this, go there." I end up getting everything, and then sometimes I, I'm most of the time I don't even like my nails, and I'm too scared to speak up. I just pay and leave, and it's like I don't want to be in a predicament where it's like I'm unhappy paying for a service and because i'm too shy and scared i don't speak up so i literally just don't put myself in that predicament however like i feel like i need to pamper myself more 
I feel like I need to pamper myself more. So a lot of times, like, I'll buy a wine or I'll buy a drink and I'm like, I'm going to save this for a special occasion. Or I'll buy something, like a clothes or whatever, and I'll be like, I'll save this for a special occasion. The biggest thing is... I need to realize that I am the special occasion. I am not saving this for a special occasion. The special occasion is me. So the fact that I even even had mentality to save this for a special occasion just shows how undeserving I feel that I am. So of course the feminine journey has to do with um, your you know your relative idea of what luxury is and your confidence in yourself. So increasing your confidence, you're naturally going to become more feminine. You're naturally going to be more receiving because you're going to feel like you deserve it. The reason why I walked through my whole life where I was more more masculine during um, energy and I still am and I'm still trying to change but you know um, I'm not forcing to change I'm letting it come to me but why the reason why I've been in such a masculine energy for the majority of my life is because I felt undeserved I wasn't confident I'm still working on my confidence being confident with how I look what my body is like how I talk my teeth everything and then also just feeling like I'm deserving and once you feel like you're deserving the feminine the feminine energy everything you're gonna completely transform masculine energy in women it literally it just means you need to heal masculine energy equals you need to heal so of course I want to go to therapy get my mind right i'm gonna start yoga i think yoga would be super dope meditation i cannot sit sit still for that long but like i said everything i'm not actively doing anything i'm trying to change my mindset and my confidence level and i'm letting things come to me and that's what my feminine journey is or is to me as far as becoming feminine in miami i feel like miami did bring that out and not only because it's miami but also because i live alone i live alone i want to live the life that I'm always admiring, like, oh, she lives, I want to do that because I can do that. But because I feel like I'm so undeserving, I'm not doing it. So a lot of it is just rewiring of, of your mind. And then moving to mind, of course, help because you see the lifestyle, and you're like, this is what I want. This is what I should think I deserve, you know? Um, and it kind of, in it, um, like, pushes you to, pushes you more into, like, the luxury, pushes you more into the confidence and everything like that. Because you have to be that way to be in Miami. Like, you come here to Miami, these girls ain't ain't no game like ain't no game top tier we have to say hair done nails done everything <laughs> everything did like their top tier bodies done like i literally like maybe 40 percent of mine we have their bodies done like legit granted i'm not gonna get my body done. <laughs> i don't see myself getting my body done it's just my body's just my body however it's like these girls are like it's funny how you have to be and push yourself to be confident to be able to be okay with yourself seeing the girls that are here because they're beautiful, they're dropped in gorgeous, they're perfect. They do all these things and I'm so not perfect. My nails are never done. My hair, I do myself. I, I wear makeup a lot, but it's mostly to cover my, uh, my white ass sunscreen. It's just... Miami is gonna force you out of your comfort zone. It's gonna force you out of, and force you into that luxury feminine type of energy because that's the vibe that these places that I've been to and just the people that I've been around, that's the vibe that they give. Um, of course you can be in Miami and, and be completely opposite. You might not get that vibe at all, but it all depends on the places you go, where you live, who you mingle with, and from, from, from that and from my experiences, that's the kind of life I'm being pushed into. So feminine journey for me is just becoming confident and letting go the resting. I, I know this was kind of impromptu and it was very like all over the place, but I hope I hope you guys like kind of got something from this. It's just dating to me is like you need to wow me. Like I don't want to be in a relationship. I like to be free and I, like I want to date around. I want to be open to dating around. I do not want to be tied down by someone who is not checking all my boxes. Like money is money, but I need you to have everything else. It's just all about, my feminine journey is all about resting, becoming more confident and secure myself and stop saving things for a special occasion, believing that I am the special occasion. And I, I and this is such a broad topic that I need more topics to kind of hone in on this. And if you guys have any topics or anything you want me to just elaborate on, leave them below and we'll definitely do, make probably make this a series because I think it's really cool to talk about this because I can ramble all day. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I kind of give an insight on the feminine journey and how it is, you know, living in Miami and everything like that. So um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.